this year uh, he can run and run and run just like the energizer bunny and uh, he can play just about any position on the field and he just he works real hard out there and uh, I'm glad that he's staying on for spring so good job good job baby. good job man. Anthony come on up hey, Anthony hey, Antonio. Anthony Sims hard worker uh, very good attitude. Never have any problems with him. He tries his hardest. Yeah. Hey guys, listen up here. He tries his hardest at all times. And he did a great job this year. And he turned out to be pretty, pretty good uh, defender out there. He's always uh, really aggressive and and uh, knocking people down. Getting knocked down a couple times. Sacrificed his body on that one game. I, kn I know some of you remember that, where they they flattened each other. But he was just very aggressive and he was not going to let that kid beat him. And so he did a great job. Good job, Anthony. Okay, Mo also, um, he started out the year being able to juggle the ball one time. One time, maybe twice. Uh, he's also up, and I think he's at home he's done it over 50 times, but in front of me he's done it 37 times. 39 times, something like that. So uh, he's done a great job with that, and he's uh, really improved a lot. And he's a good hard worker out there on the field and plays real well. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the team, buddy. Got more gold stars than these back in, Mason. 
All right, Mason, uh, he played keeper most of the time. He also got a chance to get out on the field. And when he got out on the field, he's, he was almost scoring goals all the time out there. So he did a great job this year. He had some incredible saves out there. Uh, I know that a lot of you also saw him. He, he was not afraid to dive on that ball and to get, get vertical, get lateral. And whatever he did, he, he would just go out there and dive for the ball and sacrifice his body at all times to, to keep the other guys from scoring. And he just did a great job as, as a keeper. Very good job. Good job, Mason. Steve. All right, Steve. Steven Z. player. He goes out there and he plays hard you know, all the time. And he's just, uh, he turned out to be a, just an incredible defender. He gets out there, be aggressive, not afraid of anything. Um, and he just did a good job. And he also put him in at, at goalie, let him try it out at one time. He, he did a great job doing that too. So he's a really a versatile player and uh, just a, a great kid. Uh, never had any problems with him. Always, the thing that stands out about Steven, and a lot of them as well, it's almost every time we get done with practice, he'd beg to keep practicing. He didn't want to stop. He's like, do we have to stop? You know, he wanted to go and go and go. And he wanted to practice. And there was a lot of them, too. But I remember Steven, because almost every time, it was, can we keep practicing? Do we have to stop? So uh, he did a great job. Good job, Good job Steven. Also, uh, I got a game award that I haven't been able to, to get to him. For the last, uh, uh, it was his first defensive play. Um, I can't even remember which game it was, but it stands out. I think it was the one where uh, he played goalie as well. Um, so he he uh, did a great job on defense. I mean, he just he was aggressive. He was going after the ball, and he wasn't he was not backing off. If there was ever like a 50-50 situation, he just went for it, even if it, if it meant to sacrifice his body. Good job, Steven. All right, Austin, come on up. All right. Well, Austin, uh, he, he also did a great job out there. He's a real hustler. Um, he's also not afraid to get banged up. You see him on the ground a lot, but that's because he's hustling so so much out there. And uh, he did a great job this year. He's a he's a versatile player. He can play just about anywhere on the field, and he really likes it. And so we're gonna keep going with it. And uh, he just did a great job. So. Good job, Austin. Good job. Joshua. Okay, Joshua also gets his, uh, he juggled it seven times, which is a, uh, you know, it took him, he, he, I know he practiced and practiced and practiced, and he finally got his five, and he kept working and he kept working, and he got his seven. So he did a great job with that. Um, you know, also with him, and just like the rest of these guys, and most of them have done pretty well with that juggling, he couldn't juggle at all at the beginning of the season. So he worked and worked, and his hard work paid off. Great job. We got a seven. Good job, Josh. Okay, Brendan, come on up. <laughs> All right. Brendan Lister, he's a he's a tough player. He can play just about anywhere on the field. Uh, he's got he's starting to come around. His left foot's starting to come around now. I know he scored a scored a goal in that. In Practice so it, that's one thing that at the beginning of the season he was a real tentative to use his left foot, but by the end of the season he started using it a lot. 
So he just did a good job with that, and he can be counted on to play hard and just about anywhere on the field all season long. So great job. Good job, Brendan. All right, I got a couple of individual awards real quick. And these are just, uh, you know, recognizing some uh, individual accomplishment. Guys that just, you know, happen to be good in a certain area. Um, I'll start out with uh, this award right here. I call this the In the Trenches Award. And this is to a player that, uh, he, he's either feast or famine. He was either in combat, he's either getting pummeled or, or he was fighting boredom. Okay, and that's this is uh, Mason because he he uh, sat back there uh, in the goalie most of the time, and he was either like it was either a death match where he was you know getting pummeled or he was fighting boredom, like I was just saying, and it, it seemed like it was either feast or famine. So. He just did a great job back there. Like I said, it hit some incredible saves and just did a good job. Come on wow, up here. Good job, Mason. Good job, Mason. Yeah. All right, next one. And you can see, we got these different things. This is guy, so the guy shooting. All right, I call this the best finisher award. And uh, this happens to go to Matt Slyford. He <laughs> scored nine goals this year in eight games. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And one thing I want to say about him is, is uh, he's got a strong foot, very strong foot, especially for his for his age. But what impressed me the most was how his left foot developed, his his weaker foot. And uh, he scored two goals with his left foot. You know, that's just a, an amazing accomplishment because uh, he wasn't hardly using it at all, like a lot of other guys. He wasn't using his weak foot at the beginning of the season. So he he gets the best finisher award. Good job, job Matt. Right. It's all focus. Uh, an award that I really enjoy giving out because it's so important in soccer, especially as the kids get older and it's become more and more uh, important. It's called the, uh, I call the most assist. And this is to the player that, you know, it could be called the, uh, the unselfishness award or, you know, where they, they just pass the ball, dump the ball um, to an area where another guy is able to score. Okay? And this happens to go to Brendan Lister. He got four assists this year. Good job. And, uh, that was a great job. No, I hope it's a boy. Mark's wanting a boy. All right. And the last the one, and a very, also a very Nobody important award. Um, no. I, I let the uh, oh, I let the, oh, okay. the kids choose. It's a leadership award. They uh, they got to choose who they felt was the best leader, and uh, someone who set the example, worked hard, was encouraging. Uh, didn't get down on his teammates, etc. And and it was very apparent to me who I this is the same person that, that they picked that I would have picked because uh, he displayed a lot of natural born leadership. He uh, like I said he set the example out there. He was aggressive. Uh, he played hard. If he if he knocked one of his teammates down on accident, he'd, he'd help him up. He'd encourage him, and he would just uh, really set the example out there. And it was just an outstanding to watch him. Out there, and this goes to Rick Alder. Oh, yeah. Good job, Good Rick. Job, Rick. All right, and that's about it. Uh, like I said, over here, has got we've got the uh, sponsor awards. We'll be giving those out. I'll be giving that to uh, uh, my unit, and also we'll be sending that one off to uh, Sandra Purdy as well. Which we also sent all the cards that you guys wrote and a letter, and we sent those off to her. Let her know how much we appreciate that. Um, and we're also sending her the plaque as well. Like I said, we ended up three, four, and one, which actually was pretty good. We we uh, we finished ahead of all the other first um, season teams. So we, you know we can't can't complain about that. And believe it or not, we ended up uh, yeah, we ended up tied for fourth place. So that's not bad out of nine teams. Not bad for a first season. Uh, I can't. Even, I don't know the name of the team. It was it was uh, the Stacy. But anyway, we're not done. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Um, with that, uh, you guys got a chance to win some games. Get down, guys. Hold up. We're almost done. You guys got a chance to win some games, and you got a chance to, to lose some. And, and sometimes that's the best way to learn is when you play better teams. So you guys got some very good experience out there. And uh, I hope you guys continue to play. Uh, one of the main things that I wanted to do was to, to give you guys a love for the game. And, 
you guys to have fun out there and enjoy it. And I hope you did. I know I enjoyed uh, coaching you guys. I'm very proud of you guys. And I thought you did an outstanding job. So good job, Storm. Oh, sit down and shut up, Mr. Leader. <laughs> yeah, I'm the leader. Go to your wrist. All right, hey, guys, listen up. Okay, well, this is from the kids and the parents to you and Monica. Uh, the first thing that we'd like to give you is for all the nights, you probably missed supper. We you know you're going to be moving, so hopefully this will come in handy. Okay. Um, the second thing that we wanted to give you was some. So Austin, when he grows up, and Ella, when she grows up, can remember living in Milton. Here's some pamphlets on how pretty it is. Okay. <laughs> Here's that. And then we also got you a, a book on the history of Santa Rosa County. All right. And all the boys have signed the inside of it. Oh, great. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, we get it. Thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. And I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. Thanks. Yeah, where to? Bunch of kids, I'll throw their turkeys down and go. Let's go play football.